Hello Zebra Herd, welcome to Scribblenauts Unlimited. You might remember earlier this year I played Scribblenauts Showdown, a new game on the Nintendo Switch, and I enjoyed that a lot, but a lot of you were saying, could you go back and maybe play some other Scribblenauts games? Now I love Scribblenauts Unlimited, I have actually played through it before, but I figured I'd play through it again with you guys and have a good time with it because that's sort of the fun thing about Scribblenauts games is that you can replay them and still have a really good time because you can do anything your mind lets you do, so. <laughs> I think we'll have a good time. Let me know if you're excited for the series and you want to see more. I'll try to post videos of it every day, but of course, if you guys are interested, that helps influence me to do more. So, with all that being said, let us get started with Scribble Knots Unlimited. Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. Oh. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already <laughs> there having lunch. They competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long-lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. Ah! The two of them semi-retired to start a family. And they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. Oh my. One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof, the word would come to life. <laughs> That's a very powerful gift. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. So they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids, and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, <laughs> She's in a wagon. Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. When you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, that's it. I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the starites in the world, and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. All right, what a start. Oh, I love this game so much. So there we go, with all the information in, uh, like I guess, in our dis disposal, we'll be able to go on our adventure. Ah, oh, walk to the farmer. Okay, I got it, don't worry. Hi, farmer. Click on Edwin. So this is one of our 30, or no, 41 brothers and sisters earn a stripe by helping Edwin with his award-winning pig. Sure. The basics start. So this is how we learn how to play. Now there's been many Scribblenauts games, but this one's great because if you don't know how to play Scribblenauts, you can still play this one and sort of figure it out. Um, turn the run to the litter into the award-winning pig. Write an object to help Maxwell scrub the pig. To scrub him. Use the notepad. All right then, so type something to clean the pig. I'm gonna do toothbrush. That should work. Yeah, it does. So I can hold that and then clean him. 
Yep, got it. Use the object to clean the pig. I did it. Click the progress bar for the current hint, which is up here. I clicked Maxwell to remove the object, but turn the run on the yep, 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 we already wrote that. Okay, so I need to remove it. Drag this to the trash can. Gotcha. All right, the pig looks great. Now use an adjective to increase the pig's size. So we can actually select the pig itself and change whatever uh, you know adjective we want with it. So type an adjective to increase the size of the pig. So we can go gargantuan, and that should work if I spelled it correctly. I did, yeah! Help the pig win the talent competition. Use an adjective and a noun to create wings large enough to carry the pig. So let's see, um, hints are unlocked over time. Click on the associated object to view its hint. Uh, so this one right here. Uh, use an adjective and a noun to create the pigs. Okay, so we should have another option. I need wings large enough to help me fly. So let's create an object. We're gonna have large wings, just for now. We can keep it pretty simple. The magic backpack stores objects for later. Throw the wings in the backpack and wait for the judges to arrive. Okay, are we like rigging this competition right now? I guess so. Oh my. So everybody brought their pigs. You brought a guinea pig? <laughs> Take the wings from the magic backpack, gotcha. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and um, just place them on like that. Very cool. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> These are some very vibrant pig judgers. I mean, I think the pig should just be a pig. Why does it have to be the biggest pig? All right, so let's see who won. <laughs> the guinea pig got second place. Yeah, go guinea pig. And then our big pig got first place. All right, well, Edwin wins the trophy. Hooray, he didn't cheat at all. <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes the pig happy. You think it'd make Edwin happy. The pig just wants to be himself. It's a weird, weird concept. But anyways, we get our first star right. The basics completed. And this is our key to getting the game completed, is trying to get more and more star rights. So let's keep at that. And yeah, earn shards by helping people. Then shards will form a star right. Use star right vision to find shards. So we gotta go ahead and figure that out. I forget what button is star vision, but we can also just click it up here, okay. Uh, click golden objects for hints. Uh, help the sprout grow. So if we're ever stuck on what we're supposed to do, we can always go into star vision and that can help us out a ton. So yeah, let's get to that. Um, write an object. Okay, so maybe a watering can. That should be helpful. So if we go like this and then use, should be able to water you up. Perfect, oh gosh, run at one. <laughs> oh gosh, indeed. So can we can we uh, click you really quickly? Hold on. Um, use notepad. Oh, I can't do anything with you. Really? Can I? I can pet you. Uh, the plant scared away the other shard opportunity. Reset reset the level to return all objects to their original state while keeping your earned shards. Oh my! So press escape. Um, so we want to go ahead and reset. Yep. So I guess if we mess up. No problem if we spawn in a dragon that eats everything. While the notepad can create many things, vulgarity, copyrighted materials, and proper nouns are not allowed. Okay. Oh, help me, what's wrong, what's wrong? Uh, my kitty is stuck atop the tree, get her for me. Oh, poor thing. So my idea would be a ladder. I'm gonna spell ladder wrong, or at least the wrong type of ladder. Uh, so can we climb up this or not? Climb, there you go. I got you, kitty. And then I'm gonna choose the kitty. Hold on. Pick up, or not. Hold on, let's try that again. Pick it up, he's not working. You know what then, if I can't do it, we need to get a firefighter to do it. That's their job, right? I mean, their job is to fight fires. No, don't chop down the tree! I mean, I guess to save the cat, but that was a very risky way of doing it, sir. So I'm, I'm gonna take this from you. <laughs> you need to earn this back later. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, learning the basics was just the first step towards saving Lily. Use the bus stop to begin your journey in Capital City. And before we do, let's wish you luck. Uh, click Maxwell and select Pick Avatar to play as any unlocked brother. Oh really, Pick Avatar. Uh, are you sure you want to enter the Avatar browser? So we can play as other brothers, change my current avatar here, or I think at some point we can even make a new one, which is pretty cool. I don't plan on doing this too much. I didn't create your own objects here. Turn on help to see tools and tips. Not really super duper interested. I just wanna play the game. So uh, let's get back to it. So we've already fully completed Edwin's farm. We've got both things that we needed. So I don't think there's really, I wish we could sort of talk to the characters more, but I'm pretty sure we can't. Uh, that's just a tutorial. Never mind then. Yeah, is there anything else going on around here? Oh, ooh, we can take the bus stop. 
and go to a new area. So I'll try to get a good couple of areas done each episode, just so that way things are productive. Uh, welcome to Capital City. Oh, I like it. Yeah, this place is pretty happening. I see a couple things going on. But some of these levels are tough to complete. I remember that much. But we'll just be looking around, talking to whoever we can. And we can always go into Star Vision to see who needs help, like this little boy. Uh, yeah, bored boy. I want someone to entertain me. All right, well, I would say <laughs> I don't think it works. But we can try. No, <laughs> I didn't think so. Um, entertainer. Like, would that work? I mean, that's sort of a... A pretty decent description. Seems like it worked. All right, cool. Oh, hey, there's me. Hello. In balloon form. So there's one of them done. Very cool. So that was just a uh, a shard. It wasn't a full star right. So hopefully we can get another one. Um, I'm parked illegally. Uh, I would love to just, you know, add an adjective that says legally parked. But um, the best thing we can do then is get a tow truck. Hey, it's in front of a... Uh... Oh, we can attach... Okay, very cool. So this should be attached, and now I should be able to hop into here. No, 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 I don't wanna go into there. I wanna ride this. And then we should just be able to drive it out of the area. That way it's not in front of an emergency location. Oh, okay, she just threw the, the parking ticket at it. It's a binder, interesting. And now it's just in front of a uh, intersection instead. That's so much better. Not my problem. I'm not the police officer. Hello, do you need help? You don't, okay. Maybe she's just mad because I did her job, I don't know. Uh, what else is going on around here? We got a, a bush? No, it's graffiti. So unsightly. Uh, add adjective. Sightly. No, no, I spelled that wrong. Sightly, there you go. Does that work? That actually works. <laughs> Urban artist. Hey, I mean, I guess everybody has different tastes. What do you need? Place someone into the phone booth to make a sidekick for me. All right then. Uh, what happens if you just put in sidekick? I guess you get this guy. He seems like he was like an MMA fighter or something. So I guess he does have like some kind of sidekick ability, but that's not really what I mean. You can now play as Maxwell's brother, Clark. Was that Clark? Let me go ahead and figure that out. Uh, Yeah, that was Clark. How cool is that? Oh, I get it, like Clark Kent, Superman. There is a Scribblenauts DC Comics game. Um, that would be cool to check out at some point. I mean, we're playing this one for now. We got we got our Scribble Knots adventure ahead of us. Is this guy following me around? Hi, I'll give you a little pet. How you doing there, little ant friend? Or you're, you're a lonely cockroach. You know what, I'm gonna make you a friend. There we go. Oh, there we go, okay, now there's a lot of them. Okay, that was a mistake, but I guess he's not lonely anymore. <laughs> I mean, that's good. There's just also an infestation in the city. Create a new fountain for the city. Place an object in this water, then flip the switch. So if we interact with it now, obviously not much will happen. So, could we make a zebra statue? That'd be cool. Interact. There we go, the zebra statue. <laughs> Everybody give it your money. A fountain for the city square. <laughs> we can rename it to Zebra City now. How cool is that? Oh, so this is a full star, right? Carnival games. Play classic carnival games to win prizes. Sure. Carnival games start. So what are we gonna have to do with this one? The carnival's in town. Throw something to knock over the bottles, but don't cross the barrier. Okay, so here's the barrier. If I wanted something to knock over the bottles, I mean, we could keep it simple and do like a baseball or something, or we could have like a cannon. Oh, one more end that I put in there, sorry. Can I flip this around? I think there's a way to. Uh. Interact. No, yeah, this is, how do I flip objects? Interact. Okay, this is a problem. Use notepad. What if I just inverted? No. Okay, you know what, I think I just have to like try again. So let's exit out of all this and I'm gonna trash can this one. And cannon, is there like, yeah, I don't know how to flip it. Uh. I can zoom in and out of my camera. I don't think there's a way to flip it. Weird. Okay. Then I guess we'll just get something else. We'll just get like a handheld weapon or something. Uh, like a water gun. There we go. And then double click your target to shoot her through throw things. Attack. Uh, okay, I gotta get a little bit closer. The range on this thing isn't that great. Uh, here, hold on. 
I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. And can we stop attacking? <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. Pick up, and I gotta like control him. I can't move anymore. What is going on? This this is really weird. There we go. Okay, now I can move. That was that was weird. Uh, attack. I'm still too far. You crossed a barrier. No, retry. Come on, that's not fair. Do I really have to use something like? Okay, I'll just use a baseball. Taking too much time with this one. I know what to do. It just wasn't letting me do it. Sorry if my keyboard's too clicky. I might get a new one that's not as loud. No, I, I'm gonna have to take that from you. Sorry. <laughs> All right, throw it. Yeah, there we go. We oh, we didn't get it perfect. But that's okay. You can't get a strike every time. Oh gosh, there's a clown. Throw something to pop the balloons without crossing the barrier. All right, then let's get a, a dart. There we go. This is an interesting song. Throw it. Ready? Pop. Oh, we got a couple with one dart throw. Throw something to hit the dunk tank without crossing the barrier. Let's this time. Do a volley, not, oh gosh. It's hard to type with hooves, okay? Okay, thanks. I mean, I, I train a lot. Try to put myself well into practice. Oh, I missed. Apparently I didn't. <laughs> hey, I guess you just have to participate. You don't have to win. Awesome, let me go ahead and get our start right then. Not bad. Great start to everything. Carnival games completed. We got our second star right. We can continue forward. All right, well, I'm glad you enjoyed that. What else is going on around here? Looks like we do have this, uh, dude, I thought he was a clown with this little weapon, not quite. Uh, I want to sail across the sea. All right, well, I'll go ahead and get you a tugboat. And just put that right there. Have fun, goodbye. I hope you brought like rations and food and stuff. Can we go under the water? Uh, we can. Oh, 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 there's I think another area down here, I guess. Welcome to Capital City Runoff. Is this a whole different area though? It might be. Um, I know a way to find out. I think this is a whole unique level though. Um, yes, this is its own level. We wanna tackle one level at a time so we won't go here right now. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh, can I jump out of this water? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'll have to figure that out. Okay, I'm out of the water now. So yeah, let's keep on completing this area before we move on to anything else. It looks like we have two more shards to get to. I guess all these other little areas are combined with the central city. But like if I were to go into any of these buildings, that's something I need to do. It might take us some time though. But if we uh, create an adjective, we can actually start flying, which might be worth our while. Yeah, as you can see, we Because there might even be stuff up here, which I'm pretty sure there is from my memory. And we can just go to the city tops and explore, have a good time. Hmm. We got this gorilla. Oh, this gorilla needs help. How you doing, buddy? King me. All right, well, let's go ahead and get you a crown. There you go. Up. Oh gosh, she's King Kong. I get it, now I'm out of here. King me. <laughs> and what do we got going on here? We can't see this view, there are clouds in the way. All right, well, let's blow them away with a big fan tool. And then put it there. It worked, yeah! <laughs> All right, so on a clear day, and if we take a look, that means we've gotten everything in this area. Total star rights, three. Very nice, level complete. That's awesome. Um, Good job, check on Lily at the farm to unlock new levels. Okay, let's check out what she's doing. Hey, how you doing? I got this for you. Is that good? I hope so. <laughs> she seems to like it. Oh, what is this? Oh, I guess this is like more maps, more areas to, uh. Check out. Whoa, ho, ho, we're gone. Oh no. It's still eating away at her. Very cool, so, oh wait. Am I seeing this correctly? Like if we take a look here, this is the Virgil Gallery. What about the other areas? Like there was a city runoff. Capital City Firehouse. The Underline. St. Asterisk. Full Stop Diner. And then Inkwell High. Interesting, but we never actually found, oh no, Capital City Runoff, right here. Weird, it doesn't have a little icon for it. Maybe because I already found it? Well, we'll go to Capital City Runoff next, just to be sure, you know? Capital City Runoff, so we were here just moments ago, so all the levels are sort of kind of connected in a way. Um, so what do we got going on with everything here? This is a bit of a smaller level, as you can see. Uh, for this one, though, the other fish keep making fun of me. Please help me scare them away. All right, well. Use notepad, add adjective, scary. Now you're scary, why did you just have that big scary mask? Ooh, scaredy fish. 
All right, so there's the first one, and there's no full star rights to find in this level. What's going on with you? You're a little anemone stinkhorn. I'm ready for a new school to move in. Oh, it's like a school of fish can move in. Of course, there are some fish, like in Finding Nemo, that live in uh, anemones, sea anemones. So let's go ahead, not a clown. No, no, hold on, hold on. That's not what I wanted. Here, go into the trash bin. Clown fish. <laughs> That's what I wanted. So let's go ahead and see if that works. No, 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 leave him alone, leave him alone. Remove. There you go, you're not scary anymore. He's like, oh no, what do I do? I'm not scary. Anyways, did that work? I think so. Okay, so let's figure everything else out. We got some stuff down this way. Oh, toxic waste. There must be a better way to dispose of this waste. You bet there is. Um, Trash compactor. There it is. So, that's not gonna work, is it? Nope. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I could just add adjective and make it clean waste. It didn't really work. We'll have to see what we gotta do about that. Cause right now I'm not sure. For right now though, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Can I like, there must be a better way indeed. I just don't know what it is. That's why we have scientists, right? Oh, hey, what are you doing? I've always lived down here and don't know what I look like. All right, maybe we could get, no, no, no. Let's get you a camera. That way you can take a, a selfie. There you go. Will you take it? Not quite. Maybe I could take a photo of you. Use, there you go. There you go. And then I can give this to you. Did that work? Um. Here, I'll hold it and then throw it at you. No, that doesn't work. All right, we'll do the normal thing. A mirror, here you go. Oh, just put it here. He's like, no, I'm idiot, so I'm so sorry. He's a uh, sinking, scared Shogoth. How is he sinking? He's under the water. Uh, I don't know what, what what's better for this. Uh, I don't know, trash can? And then we can... No, I wanted the other way around. Empty it. Maybe we could just get like a sponge? I don't know, this might be where I have to look for a hint. But they don't really give you too much more than this. Uh, Soap. Clean it. That didn't work. I have no clue how to fix that one. That one's tough. Uh, what's, what's worry about some other stuff though? Like uh, you. Be a bro and help me break free. All right, here you go. You can clean your way out of this situation. He's like, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Okay, let's save him then. Uh, let's get some scissors. And uh, use it on that. No, okay, I'm not hurting you, am I? Because that's not what I want to do. You're already drowning. All right, see ya. Crime doesn't pay. Okay, so let's try this one out. Save the lobsters. Fool the fishermen by filling their trap with something else to eat. Like a, uh, like a cabbage. That sounds great to me. There you go. Fill it up. And there you have it. Have fun! <laughs> yeah, the lobsters are partying now. Look at this guy. King Azor Grand Lobster. I really want that crown, but you can have it. So all the things I have to figure out is just this one. So like maybe like hazard suit. Like what are, what are those people that clean up toxic waste things? Maybe I should just do like a cleaner. Yeah. Here you go. Will you clean that up? Clean that up for me. No, he's just like, oh gosh, I'm going to drown. I mean, maybe I could steal your mop, and then I'll use that to clean this stuff. Uh, attack, hiya. Maybe I just gotta break it. I mean, this you would think that'd be a bad idea. If that's the case, let's go ahead and get something that might, no! Oh no! I was defeated, continue. That's not what I wanted. Touch Maxwell head icon to center the camera on Maxwell. That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't even try to shoot it yet. Like that just happened on its own. Well, I gotta do it again. Everybody watch out. And then attack it. Oh no, I'm so sorry, but it did work. We cleared the waters, but we also filled it with violence. Level complete. Awesome stuff. So with that being said, we should probably head back out to the map. And as you can see, now we get a little check mark. This wasn't here before, before so that's like sort of concerning. But uh, yeah, those other little areas lead to these things. So we've already gotten three levels done. I wanted to get at least one more level done at the Virgule Gallery. So I guess this must be some kind of museum, which would be pretty cool to check out. Welcome to the Virgule Gallery. Oh, now there's some statues of some famous people. I see a penguin, <laughs> the most famous of all. Okay, how about I put away the bazooka? 
There we have it. Okay, so what's going on with you? One of these artifacts is a fraud. Help me figure out which. How am I doing that? I have no clue. Um. Oh, you know, I know how. Let's go ahead and get a paleontologist, I think? Yep, I guess I'll be able to find out, and it was this one right here. All right, well, let's pick this up, and we are going to throw it. <laughs> All right, well, that worked. You're the curator. And there's also a star right over here. Finicky pa patrons. Help Max will provide art that will be sure to please patrons at the museum. All right, finicky patrons. Very interesting, what is this gonna be like then? Oh, was that just a transformer? I guess they're all gonna like different things, right? It's opening day at the museum. Play something in the frames that will be sure to please the museum's patrons. So for you, you'll want like a robot dog. That's not really what I thought it was gonna be, but hey, it does not look like a robot dog. Maybe I should put, should put like dog robot. Uh, here comes somebody else. What is something that this patron would like to see? Place it in the frame. Oh, a mummy. Uh, let's put a sarcophagus. I think that's how you spell that? Not quite right. Uh, a little too phonetic, I guess. Or maybe I just wasn't pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> Anyways, the next patron is arriving. Play something in the frame that they'll, they'll be sure to please. Oh, it's a ghost. Let's go ahead and put a tombstone. That was correctly spelled, yeah. Okay, don't know. Oh, I guess it's supposed to have like a, a painting filter on it. Uh, the last patron is here. Play something inside the final frame to complete opening day as a success. All right, hello lady. Oh, you're, are you Mrs. Claus? You're Mrs. Claus, okay. Oh, and there's also different hints, but I'd have to wait longer to get those. Okay, that sort of makes sense. If we take a look, though, I think that we should just do a a reindeer. How do you spell reindeer? I guess I was right. Yeah, there you go, she loved it. Hooray! So we made something to please all of the crazy different patrons you can find here in this museum. What a popular museum if it's uh, attracting ghosts and mummies and Mrs. Claus. Let's go ahead and get our star right. Yeah, Artist Maxwell. Fennecke patrons completed. Total star rights, four. Awesome. So with that being said, we're gonna keep moving forward. And what else can we do in this area? First off, we can help you, the paleontologist. Or no, you're the archeologist. Uh, I need something to connect, because I think a paleontologist specifically studies dinosaur bones. Well, an archeologist sort of studies everything in the ground that you might find in the past. Maybe I'm wrong about that though. Um, I need something to connect these bones together. All right, well, I'd imagine they'd use glue. So here you go, not just like a like a, a glob of glue, damn bones, interesting. Uh, do you need help? Help me get past the guard and the security camera so I can take back my diamond. All right, I mean this this guy, Um, you know what I know what to do. Let's go ahead and make you invisible. <laughs> we just see your outline. Look at you, the ultimate heist. Wow, cool. So we need five more of those going on around here. Hey look, it's one of our uh, other brothers, Artie. You can always tell because they have like the same like hat on or similar hat. Um, the girl in this painting looks lonely. Well then, you're the artist, Artie. Uh, let's give her a cat. Oh, she'll get a cat friend. Hey, still live solitude. Very nice. Now you can now play as Maxwell brothers or Maxwell's brother, Artie. Very nice, and we're going to add an object to you. You're going to be inflated. No, I forgot the E, or the D. Inflated, here you go. <laughs> it just makes him larger. <laughs> I love just messing with it and see what ends up happening. So what do we got going on now? We got this guy, which is Wax Columbus, of course, Christopher Col Columbus, the, uh, the guy, finish my exhibit. Well, then you need um, America. It doesn't actually show up. Maybe if I type in North America? North America. Still nothing, it doesn't have like the continent. Interesting. What if I just did USA? USB. <laughs> it traveled, traveled across the sea to get a USB drive. Drop it, okay. This is not what I wanted. I was hoping I could. What if I just did continent? I'm, I'm just really curious now. Not also what I was looking for. Okay, never mind. Maybe this doesn't take place on normal Earth. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and type in boat. Cause that's really what you had. Yeah, brave new world. That's the kind of boat you had. But it'd be funny if he did. 
Uh, and then we have uh, Wax Cleopatra from Ancient Egypt to finish my exhibit. We're gonna go ahead and give, I wanna give you a cat as well. That was pretty common, right? Hey, that actually worked, yay! Queen of the Nile. Very cool. And then do you need help? Or was that everything? No, we got two more left to go. Uh, finish my exhibit. So usually you had the kite and the lightning bolt. Well, let's try the lightning bolt. Or maybe we should try a, a dollar. Because of course, Benjamin Franklin is on the $100 belt. Okay, he just has money now. Uh, <laughs> no, it didn't quite work. Uh, what if I just type in Benjamin Franklin? Will it, like, will it do real names of people? It will. Hmm. He has his double, so that's it. Um, okay, so we'll just go ahead and do the uh, kite. Because he, he would fly the kite and it got struck by lightning, and that was sort of his proof that it can conduct electricity. And he had the key tied to the uh, kite. And that's how history went. And this is uh, Wax George Washington, the first United States president. Finish my ex exhibit. Let's do United States flag. Would that work? No, so let's just try flag. Or maybe we could try president. Let's try president. Which president are we gonna bring in? This lady, hmm. cool, how nice. Hmm. Oh, does, you know what, he probably wants, what was, what was the, didn't he take down a bush or something? Oh, well, what did the first president do? I'm probably sounding ridiculous. All right, um, yeah, I feel like he did. Like, what if we give him an ax? Wasn't that like one of his stories? Yeah, he topped down a cherry tree, not a cherry bush. Never tell a lie. What happens if we just do a lie? I guess it's a type of cake. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> looks like we get, everything done in this area. And that's probably where we're gonna wrap it up then. That is awesome, I had a lot of fun with that. So if we, uh, I'm trying to find out how to get back to the map. There we go, we completed the first four areas in the game, which is amazing. There are plenty more areas to explore, which we will do very soon. I wanna turn this off, because that sound effect's driving me nuts. But um, we have plenty more to adventure in this game. There is so much to see, and we'll be seeing it very soon. But for now, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Scribble Knots Unlimited. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Scribble, so now you've watched at the end of the you're a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.